sprues and lines for lambs. And when 25% of our workers didn't function, we called it a Great Depression. Now, what do we call 50% of our students not functioning? A Greater Depression? So, I'd have to stay in school a year longer. You've been here eight years, bro. And we're so happy to have him here with us. Good morning. Thank you. I have to say, it's got to be really rough working with Meryl Streep, Tom Cruise, and Robert Yeah, it's, it's really rough. I remember getting a phone call, and I, it felt like I was like, uh, I got my first part, you know, really excited. Oh, I mean, wow. it's kind of an event, you know, to have those three in one movie. Wow. So what, I mean, how long did it take you to realize that this was not a dream once you were on set? Well, I mean, I, mean, I even from the get-go, right, you know, from the first time that I met Robert Redford, I was like, you know, had my game face on and I wanted to make sure that, you know, I did a good job. I mean, you have to bring your A game when, yeah, you're, you know, when you're doing work with those So guys. what was that, you know, is he good at giving advice like on, you know, longevity in this in this business? Like did, you know, or is he just, you know, all work and want to get the movie done? We were pretty much focused on the task at hand, you mm -hmm. know, like he was, he's got a lot of stuff going on while he's, you know, directing or whatever and he just kind of guides you with questions, you know. He's a little bit of a different kind of a director because he's an actor and yeah, stuff. Yeah, exactly. So uh, also, I mean, you play a college kid who ends up becoming an Army Ranger Lieutenant right. in Afghanistan. I mean, very serious subject matter. What, you know, what was that experience like? I mean, did you... Did it was, I mean, I, I, I got to tell you, I'm like, I love being in this movie because it, I, I think it's a different point of view than we're used to, you mm -hmm. know. This shows like a kid actually, and what, you know, what propels him to, to join the Army because mm -hmm. there's a lot of kids out there that have a point of view that they want to protect our way of right. life. And I think that this is, you know, this kind of goes out And is it them. true that you kind of accidentally did your own stunts? Accidentally, yeah. I mean, we were on on a, on a helicopter, and it's on hydraulics or whatever, and it drops down, and I, you know, I I wasn't supposed to go out, but I just, you know, I think that's the one they end up using. Really? So you literally you fell out. Good. Yeah. Did any was anything broken? Any bruises? No. No. So you so you stood up, you walked. I away, mean, there and was said, pads. Okay. There was pads there. So, so is it gonna like, make you want to do stunts in the future, knowing no. that you can walk away? No. no. I'll leave that to Tom Cruise. I'm like, I'll recite stuff. Yeah, well, I'm sure he must have like talked to you about, you know, how cool it is to do stunts. No, I don't. You know, falling on deaf ears. He's huh? good at that. He's good at that. Now, you've been in a lot of movies lately, you know, about you know similar in the sense that you know they're you know between Crash and Babel where they're really weaving a lot of stories together. Obviously, yeah, and you know, World Trade Center had a little bit of yep, that. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So, um, you know, how's this one different from some of the others? Well, I mean, I, it's it's got a political backdrop to it. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? It's a, it's a it's a bit different. Is that Crash? Right yes. There? Nice. Such an amazing. By the way, it was on cable last week. You can just watch that movie over and yeah. over again. And she find was, things she that you had missed. The, she knew the dialogue better than I did, which was not good. Oh. I, I shouldn't have said that. Wow. So I understand that you're also a rock star when you're not when you're not acting. No, no. I I, I was in a band and they got signed to Interscope and uh, and they kicked you out. What? Huh? No, I couldn't. I couldn't. They said, what, "Can I do 200 dates?" And I was like, I said no. I played music for most most of my life, uh -huh. and then, and then and what's when, your instrument? when Crash came out, it was like a different story. So they're so, touring right now. So I'm, you, I'm a drummer. You're a drum. Wow. So do you think that uh, you know at some point you'll you know revisit the music? If I got to drop acting, if I do, I mean you got to tour 200 dates. Yeah. That's like a complete year. You yeah. Know? That's busy. I just, you know. It's rough. It's rough being, you know, so multi-talented. Everybody wants to work with you. I guess. So what's next for you? What's next for you? Um, I'm do. I just finished a movie with Rachel McAdams and Tim Robbins, uh -huh. uh, for, and you know, the guy that directed The Illusionist, Neil Berger directed that. And then I'm working with Oliver Stone and Bruce Willis. God, it's rough being you. Thank you so much for uh, for coming in. Thank you. And uh, you can catch Lions for Lambs in theaters uh, on Friday. And coming up tomorrow, the Calendar Girls of uh, Remy Martin are here live. Pleasure, nice. thank you. All right, up next on the CW11 Morning News, ladies, save yourself 50 bucks in a trip to the salon. Blow out.